question 19 question 20 name one to the market to buy bananas worth 2100 for a school the seller offered a discount of 3 shillings per banana which enabled name to buy 35 more banana part a taking x shillings as the price per banana before the discount write an expression for one the number of bananas that Naema would have bought before the discount so before the discount uh, Naema had gone to buy bananas worth 2100 shillings and each banana was costing x shillings that is before the discount so to get the number of bananas that she bought before the discount you'll take uh, the amount which is 2100 she had then divide by the price per banana so 2100 divided by x would represent the number of bananas before the discount then part 2 actual number of bananas that naema bought after the disc after the discount now given in this statement the seller offered a discount of 3 shillings per banana she enabled naema to buy 35 more banana so to get the actual number of bananas again we'll take um, the amount she had that is 2100 then the price per banana the price per banana is not now x after the discount you subtract 3 shillings the initial price per banana was x but a discount was given so if it's a discount you subtract 3 discount of 3 so now this is the cost so you have to divide by x subtract 3 that now would represent the number of bananas after the discount or alternatively uh, you can do it like this after the discount uh, she was able to buy 35 more bananas so you can simply work out with the uh, the figure before the discount that is those are the number of bananas that she was able to buy before the discount but after the discount she was able to by that 5 more so also this expression can work to the discount so you can either write it as uh, x uh, 2100 divided by x minus 3 or the second one 2100 divided by x plus that 5 part b form an equation in terms of x and hence determine the actual number of bananas my bot so with uh, the expression in part in a part 1 in a part 2 we can be able to form an equation in terms of x so in the second equation this was when he, she was able to buy more bananas so if we take uh, the equation in part 2 so this is where she was able to buy bananas if you subtract if you subtract the number of bananas that she was able to buy after the discount which is um, 2100 divided by x minus 3 you take that and subtract the number of banana that she was able to buy before the discount that one should give 35 because in the second part she was able to buy more banana that is in part 2 after the discount she was able to buy 35 more so that expression is what you're going to use and to give you the number of uh, the actual number of bananas she was able to buy so now we need to solve this equation so this equation and so this equation you can begin by uh, dividing this one by 1 so you can divide that one by 1 look at the denominator get the lcm of x minus 3 and x and then 1 which will give x x minus 3 then multiply each term by that uh, lcm so for example you can take uh, 2100 divided by x minus 3 you multiply that by the lcm which is x x minus 3 then subtract those are 100 divided by x multiply that one still by the lcm x x minus 3 then is equals to 35 again for this one you multiply by x x minus 3 like that so when you solve this you'll be able to get the value of x so let me cancel out so x minus 3 x minus 3 we cancel there x there will cancel and uh, this one you're going to have for this one you'll have 2100x then minus uh, for this one you'll have 
100 brackets x minus 3 is equals to this one will give 35 x squared minus 105 x this will give uh, 2100 x minus 2100 x plus when you open the bracket 2100 times 3 you get 6300 is equals to 35 x squared minus 105 x then from there there's something that you'll note this one and this one you subtract 2100x minus 2100x you will eliminate that and then you'll be left with these eh? you can organize you can organize this one you can organize that one to form a quadratic equation and this is what you get 35x squared minus 105x and you take 6300 to the right hand side you get negative 6300 is equals to zero so you can simplify this by dividing all these terms by 35 divide everything by that 5 and uh, this one will give x squared x squared minus 3x minus 6300 divided by that 5 that will give uh, 180 minus 180 now this one is a quadratic equation you can use the quadratic formula of factorization let me use factorization look for two numbers whose product is negative 180 and sum is equals to negative 3 the numbers are uh, these numbers are negative 15 and 12 negative 15 and 12 so solve these so give x squared so write negative 3x using negative 15 and 12 so negative 3x will be given by negative 15x plus 12x minus 180 equals to zero so this is factorize x minus 15 then plus 12 x minus 15 is equals to zero so this will simplify to x plus 12 x minus 15 is equals to 0. In this case you have two answers x plus 12 is equals to 0 so here x will be negative 12. We will ignore this because uh, x represents cost cannot be negative so then x minus 15 is equals to 0 so here we get x is equals to 15 and this will be the solution. So x we found x and uh, remember x is the price per banana per banana before the discount so now the actual number of bananas that she bought of course that will be after the discount so after the discount from uh, the second expression the actual number of bananas bought will be 2100 divided by x minus 3 2100 divided by x minus 3 which will be 2100 divided by uh, 15 x is 15 minus 3 and this will give when you work it out you get 175 bananas so that is the actual number of bananas memorable part c the bananas were given to students in a school two-fifths of the student got two bananas each while the rest got a banana each that is one banana each determine the number of students in that school so supposed to determine the number of students so because you don't know the number of students we can let the number of students be represented by x so two-fifths of the students will be two-fifths of x they got two bananas each so you have to multiply by two that and um the rest the rest uh, two two-fifths got two bananas so the rest is five divided by five minus two divided by five the rest will be three-fifths so the rest will be three-fifths multiply by uh the number of students which is x and this one got one banana each so you just multiply by one and we know the total number of bananas so you're going to equate by that to 175 so work out these two fifth uh, x times two this will give four fifth x plus this will give three fifth x is equals to 175 i'm simplifying these You'll get 4 fifth uh, plus 3 fifth, you get 7 over 5x is equals to 175. You want to remain with x, make x the subject, so multiply both sides by the reciprocal of uh, 7 over 5, which is 5 over 7 times 5 over 7. So therefore, x will be 175 times 5 over 7, and this will give. 125 students so that is the number of students in the school 